Welcome back, Rankers. Ah, boy, we had a huge amount of views in the first week of that Google Caffeine video. A lot of people are very interested in what Google's up to and, and the changes that they're making. Uh, yeah, but I had a record number of views within uh, the first week of the video going live. So that was nice, so thank you very much. So learn a couple of techniques from that, which we will be showing, or I say we, but I mean me, which we'll be showing at the Marketing Now conference. And uh, I'm exploring a couple of different things with YouTube at the moment and some of the ways to get your videos promoted and get your videos seen and, and how you optimize the videos for the right sorts of phrases so they do get the right sorts of traffic. So there's the details on that. Go and uh, check that out if you are in Melbourne on the 22nd and 23rd of September. Okay, now last week I said that if you do have a site that you want me to have a look at, happy to go and have a look at it, as long as you don't mind the rest of the world knowing what your keywords might be and the rest of the world seeing your site who's actually interested in SEO. So here we go. This is from Vanessa of uh, Gold Post, Gold Post, footy on the brain at the moment, coming into final season, goldcoastpets.com.au, and that is not easy to say, and the reason I'm looking over here is to uh, go and find Vanessa. This is Vanessa, and this is her site. Basically, they uh, a kennel, or a, sorry, not a kennel, a sit at home and uh, pet sitting service. Right, the first thing you've got to look at with any site is what are your keywords. So I would head off to, say, a tool like Google Insights, and uh, type in the phrase, and in this case, I'll just type, I don't know, pet minding. See what comes up. And you've got, to sort of, you've, got to, you've got to think of the market that you're targeting, what sort of phrases they're going to be typing in, and not just um, what you think you might be typing in. So that can be quite tricky and quite difficult. Um, pet mining, but we really don't have any qualifier here, so let's put uh, kennels. And by a qualifier, Google Insights, it will compare the relative popularity of two phrases together, or up to five. And you can see there, pet minding, I don't think is a huge phrase. But let's just, for the sake of the argument, say that it is, because uh, I'm not going to do a full keyword analysis this morning. Once you've got your keywords, you then need to get those keywords in the right places. So for instance, up in, in the title here, we've got Gold Coast Dog Plus Cat Plus Pet at Home Sitting Plus Dog Walking. I would lose the pluses. And I would uh, switch those with the pipe character, which is um, shift backslash on your, uh, on your keyboards. And just replace those pluses with pipe. That's if you do actually want to rank for go Gold Coast Dog, which I doubt. I don't think that's a phrase people are going to type in. And if they are typing in it, I don't think they're necessarily going to be looking for this sort of site. So when we talk about your key phrases, it's actual things that people are going to be typing in. Pet at home sitting, I don't think people would type that in either. Maybe pet sitting, maybe a, um, pet minding at home, maybe certainly dog walking. That's a good one. Okay, then you go into the, the, the top of the page, and what I'm going to look at here just quickly is under the hood. Don't freak out on me. I know it's code, and for those of you that are, are code phobes, just it's going to be fine. Um, okay, so up, the here, up here we've got... Um, your description. That's not a, not a bad description. It sort of says what it is. The, the key thing about your description is it's what appears in the search engine results pages. So it's your chance to actually sell and encourage people to click on the result in the search engine results page. Keywords, um, search engines don't pay a lot of interest in the keyword meta tag anymore. But... Um, yeah, it doesn't hurt to have it. Uh, just don't overdo it. I would definitely lose this particular meta tag, though, key phrases. Um, really just repeating yourself there and not necessary. And the same applies to the, the right. Sorry, dropped my mic. The same applies to the, uh, to the robots tag. Uh, any good robot is going to follow your site, so you don't need it. To, uh, to tell it to follow it and to index everything. They just do that naturally. Also, this robots revisit content after seven days, lose that. Because basically what you're telling Google there is that don't come back for a week. Why would you do that? Don't do that. Um, 
And author, yep, that's fine. Not really used by the, um, the search engine of, at all, but it doesn't hurt to have it in there. And, and this is good that you've got your, um, your CSS and your style sheets outside the code and in their own separate file, external file. That's the way you should do it. That's really good. Now, a couple of things that you're missing though. Let me just go back to your page. Basically, you, you don't have a really strong, obvious um, keyword theme here or keyword density in your home pet sitting and, and daily dog walks. So what I would do is you've got to try to get your key phrases up here as, as close to the, the top of the page as you can to let the search engines know that this page is about these particular phrases. Get these in a H1 tag. I don't think it is. Nope, not in a H1 tag. It. That's a heading one. And basically, you're telling Google that these words are important because you're putting them in, in a heading one tag. Um, and what the other thing I would try to do here is perhaps get your keywords more in the links on the site that move out throughout the site. Because once again, you're telling Google um, something about your site. Let's not forget of who is who ranks number one for the phrase click here. And in case you've forgotten, let's Google it again. Adobe Acrobat, right? Because millions of sites out there link the words click here to download Adobe Acrobat and they all point at that site. So the same applies with your site. Every time you put keywords and a link on your site, you're telling the search engines a little bit more about your site. And presumably, if something is, has got a, a keyword in a link, when I follow that link, I'm going to find out more about that keyword. And I hopefully that helps Vanessa and a few other, others of you out there. Can't talk this morning, rented lips. Um, but next week, we're going to have a look, a little bit more of a look at how you start to get the right people watching your video, how you start to get um, people finding your video, and how you start to get uh, the hits up on your YouTube videos. And uh, that's it for this week. And remember, if you'd like us to have a look at your site, happy to do a quick once-over, if you don't mind the rest of the world knowing what your keywords are. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.